Hi, this is Deborah Danielson from my home. I'm up on the front porch and thank goodness we've got a little bit of reprieve from this um, isolation that we've been going through. But I wanted to share one of my little favorite places with you. This is a cabana and it sits on my front porch and it kind of reminds me of that old TV show, I Dream of Jeannie. Anyway. I always loved that when I was a kid because she was in this bottle. And look at a little fish light up there. I have a blue bulb in it, <laughs> like, we're under, like we're under the sea. Anyway, I love coming out here, sitting in the cabana. It's very peaceful. And you can see, even though I can kind of see out, nobody can see in. And then I've got all these great pillows. So I got a fish pillow and somewhere around here, I don't know where it went. I have an octopus pillow, which is my favorite. And it might be on the back of that fish pillow actually, cause yeah, there's an octopus down at the very bottom. I see it. Anyways, I love coming out here, just relaxing and I'm not feeling good today. So <laughs> I didn't put on any makeup and I didn't do anything at all to any of my hair or whatever. I have to go have a root canal tomorrow, so it's like, yeah, I'm on some antibiotics, but this whole deal here, oh, it's in such pain and it's throbbing and throbbing. So, anybody out there who's, you know, happy about this COVID stuff being lifted a little bit, nobody's more grateful than me because I've got to go to the dentist because this pain is like too much. I can't go it anymore. It's nauseating and uh, it just like throbs. It, you can, it feels like you can feel your heart beating in your tooth. So <laughs> I'm like, oh God. Well, I wanted to show you a couple of things in my garden. A lot of you know that I love gardening. And I do, I do, I do, I do love the serenity of a garden and the beauty. So one of the trees I have over here i got this at home depot so i'm going to turn the camera and hopefully i'll get a good shot but this is a red dogwood and i bought that at home depot like hmm, i think about 10 years ago and this thing is so pretty and it's a miniature tree all my trees in my yard are miniature because i have a very tiny yard and down there this is this great big stalk that is a wisteria vine and they get these long long trails of flowers that look like big hanging grapes and then down at the very bottom is what i call my tobacco plant now that's that's not the right word <laughs> but the real word is so hard and so ridiculous but that's actually a prairie flower or what a lot of people call prairie flower, flowers or weeds if they're not a connoisseur of natural plantings but i love it because it's just a single stalk and it comes straight up and it just has leaves like a tobacco plant and then over here i like topiaries so this is one of my little topiary trees it's kind of like run into the house though and then look at these columbines they look like little flames and I love this. And this is a cobblestone walkway. And you can see the little lines in it. That's called a grapevine technique, which was, I guess, back to the Greeks. And then we have the azaleas that are starting to open. And some bushes are further along than other bushes. Who knows why? Then all of this white stuff here is from this big, um, apple tree and I put this in and it is a petite tree I know it doesn't look too petite and I put this in for the birds it's wildlife it's the real miniatures for the apples and then this is a very very tiny Victorian cherry tree next to that is a beautiful magnolia and you can see some of the pink flowers are still up there on it and look at this traffic I can't believe they lifted, they lifted the, um, 
you know, the stuff yesterday, I think it was yesterday here in Iowa, and already it's like, hey, nothing ever happens. Then in the sound of music, you hear about this flower called Edelweiss. These are Edelweisses. And they seem to multiply like crazy. I don't know why, but anyway, I put um, two flowers in a year ago. <laughs> this year, boom, look at that. All kinds of stuff. Anyway, um, over here, we've got these beautiful little flowers. They're kind of plain, but these are. This is my little woodland garden section, and right there is a jack in the pulpit. It's one of my very, very favorite flowers, plants. But this is my little meditation area, where we have a woodland area here, and I've got winter green down in there. I've got you know miniature hostas, all kinds of little woodland kind of flowers. That fern there is actually native to Iowa. And that's wild ginger there. No, you can't eat it. And no, <laughs> no, it's not safe. But it is kind of cool in the garden. And then you can see everything's just coming up here for the very first time right now. Everything's just trying to wake up from the winter. And one of my favorite trees is this contorted tree here it's a contorted blue spruce but it's a weeping so it's just really cool and then my backyard opens up here and up on top you can see there's some a little rock wall over here and it's boulders and then i have my flower vase there but these are chinese tree peonies they have bark on them. And I sent to China for these. They're just opening. This is the first time it's ever blooming. Then I have some over here that are kind of all happy today and wide open. These are more Chinese tree peonies. These are clematis and you can see they've got buds all over them so they'll be blooming soon. And I've got a lot of iris ready to bloom. You know, I don't know the name of these guys, but these are the coolest. I'm a shop shopaholic on TV, so I'm sure that's one of those late night, early morning purchases that I have no idea what the heck it is, but it's gorgeous, whatever it is. And then I have Lily of the Valley over here. And these guys are multiplying out of control. There's supposed to be a little tiny strip over there, so I'm going to have to cut these things back. But you can see the little flowers, and they are so succulent. It's very, very beautiful smell. Oh my, look at there. we got a fern coming up all on its own. That's weird. Then we have, I don't know what these are called, I forgot. And then I have another magnolia back here. Oh, look at all these dandelions I have. whoop de doo I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna have to get out here and get that cleaned up. Anyway, so that's a weeping white pine over there. We just planted that last year and we just put the rest of these rocks in last year. So I'm hoping that this year we can get everything to grow really nicely. I've planted a bunch of seeds up in here for our herb garden. So I just planted them like three days ago. Something's popping up up there though. Those are sunflowers I planted. Oh yeah, there's some more coming up. Wow, that was quick. But you can see they're starting to pop up. And these are, you may notice that on here I have Indians. I love Indians. I love their culture and all the cool things about them. So the sunflowers that I have planted are called indigo uh, sunflowers. And supposedly these are the same kind of flowers that the Indians used to make ink and, and to do all of their painting and, you know, everything that they did. Dyeing of material, all of that cool stuff. So that's my garden pretty much. This is what it looks like here. You got, uh, this is a Christmas fern. 
Then these little guys, Lungswort, they have pink and purple flowers all at the same time. And then normally my fountain is working, but right now we uh, the pump died, so they got to come and they got to come and fix the pump this week. But I thought I would say hi today, show you the garden, and then be able to uh, bring a little peace and joy and relaxation. Sorry, no music today. Now, I tell you, I can't even try to sing with my shoes all messed up, but hopefully Deb Soji's gonna be back on top here in a couple of days and we'll be able to start singing again. Anyway, have a beautiful weekend. Wishing you health, happiness, and some fun today.